Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. So, uh, unfortunately, we have another elevated severe weather threat today, where we have an enhanced risk of severe weather across the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle in orange, including Amarillo, Amarillo Texas. We have a slight risk of severe weather across eastern Colorado, northeast New Mexico, the rest of the Texas Panhandle, much of Oklahoma, and southern Kansas in the yellow, and a marginal risk all the way from southeast New Mexico through Missouri, Arkansas, up through Minnesota, as well as another marginal risk across the mid-Atlantic through the northeast in the dark green. So looking at the tornado threat today, we once again have the chance to see an isolated spin-up tornado across this green area in areas like Denver, Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado, Garden City, Liberal, Wichita, Kansas, uh, Woodward, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, even Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Amarillo, Texas. So if you live in this green area today, make sure you're on guard for a couple of isolated spin-up tornadoes in your, in your location and in your area. Looking at the damaging wind threat today, uh, once again, the primary threat is going to be damaging straight line winds where we have a 30% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour stronger within 25 miles of location from Amarillo, Texas through Liberal, Kansas to Woodward, Oklahoma with a 15% damaging wind risk in the yellow area from uh, northern Colorado through eastern Oklahoma and a 5% damaging wind risk in the brown areas today. And if you live in this hatched area in Amarillo, Liberal, and Woodward, uh, make sure you're preparing for some scattered, very strong destructive wind gusts in excess of 75 miles per hour today. As we could be seeing some of those uh, destructive wind gusts in this hatched area today. And looking at the large hail threat, uh, we have a 15% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in this yellow area from Colorado to Oklahoma and then a 5% large hail risk in the brown areas today. And we have the chance to be seeing some significant destructive hail from east central Colorado through uh, south central Kansas and northern Oklahoma in Pueblo, Liberal, Wichita, and Woodward. Make sure you're parking your cars in the garage today if you live in this hatched area as we could be once again seeing hail of golf ball to tennis ball to baseball to softball size today in some locations. So uh, timing out the storms today, and once again, uh, we have a dying complex of storms across central Oklahoma, and that is actually the uh, round of storms that I was talking about in yesterday's video that could have pr produced a potential derecho uh, thankfully, the derecho didn't materialize, but we saw uh, numerous reports of baseball to softball size hail last night across southeast Colorado and southwest Kansas. So going into the future, uh, this complex is going to dissipate through the morning, and then as we go into around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to see new storm development across eastern New Mexico, northwest Texas, by 5 o'clock, could be seeing some large hail uh, near the Texas-Oklahoma border in the panhandles. Going into uh, 6 o'clock, uh, the storms are going to move east, more initiation across southeast Colorado with large hail, possibly isolated spin-up tornadoes and damaging wind gusts as well. Going into 7 o'clock, we're going to start to see the likelihood of a storm cluster across the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles producing, uh, this, is, this is where we could start seeing those uh, 75 mile per hour wind gusts in some locations around 7 o'clock this evening central daylight time with large hail storms across southeastern Colorado, maybe near Pueblo again. And then going into 8 and 9 o'clock, we could see some another round, another area of very large hail producing storms around the Wichita, Kansas area going into 9 and 10 o'clock. This area's storms is going to really uh, expand in coverage as the uh, 
storms move into western Oklahoma and weaken, and this this other area of storms pushes across north central Oklahoma between Oklahoma City and Tulsa around midnight with more continual storms across southeast Colorado all the way through at least midnight and then even as we go into 1, 2, 3 a.m. the storms are going to push across Tulsa and then as we go into tomorrow morning once again the storms are going to die out due to the loss of daytime heating. So another day and another dangerous severe weather threat. So this time if you live across portion of the Colorado, New Mexico, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, and especially the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles, make sure you're preparing for uh, dangerous severe weather today, isolated tornadoes, uh, especially damaging to destructive winds and damaging to destructive hail. Thanks for watching today's severe weather update. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day, my friends.